I'm gonna play.
Thank <laughs> you.
I said a lot here, but you have that info already. I also struggled with the shot plan, as you can see. So instead, I want to use this as an opportunity to have a conversation with you while you're oozing over the mics here. First of all, thank you for watching and listening. If you've come this far, I commend your interest. Please like, share, subscribe. Now here's the thing. The way I've presented this comparison isn't really helpful in practice. We need to listen to the wet signals of each. We need these signals compressed. We likely want some manner of equalization going on. We might even do some nastier things. Tuck some under, have others stick out. We need to hear how well these signals take processing. The question is, what does the bigger than life end product sound like that you can achieve with these mics at these positions? Let's isolate a few sections. Just the pushes, just the air code, just the voice drone. Compare the settings that fit best to each section. Compare the wet parts. AB them properly instead of having this long song be on repeat. If you're interested in that, head over to my Patreon and sign up there. You'll need to get one of the paid tiers to access that content as it's being made and continues being made. I for one am interested in finding out how good or bad the circuitry of the brilliant switch on the MD441N is, so I'll record two of those with deferring settings and compare them. You're into that dirty sound engineering stuff, eh? Well, come join me over at my Patreon, link in the description. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.